Yeah, quite. Okay. Whoops. I have a puppy in my lap. I guess she's gonna help me. Fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? Fascinating. Witcher's life. What's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. I am kind of nervous about the Gwent game. Just because, like, I really want to be able to win it for sure. <laughs> Those signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. Bloody fine mount. Good stance, powerful rub. Stable withers. Well, well. See you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. Uh... Come on. On the bright side, I get the swine herd uh, trophy now, so I can get more money. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, Let's go! Those were the days. This is very romantic. <clears throat> Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at Ooh, that June side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. And we 
must be neat. We must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one hand. And a worm's waist. You're actually quite amusing this way. Uh. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool, but I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is... It would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life, instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old heart attack. Luckily, you've got me. Also, that's real rich coming from the field, medic. <laughs> we'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. <sighs> This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of There's worthy the drinking right companions, there. and a swarm of fair maids. I forget that you can see him all over the place. None compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. You're right, Bitch. <laughs> Shut up, child. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. 
My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am uh, This is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. What was your face shifting? Oh my god! It's like barely shifting, like from right to left. Like, oh. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do any of the other shit because it's so embarrassing. <laughs> We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you. Uh... Expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, catch that's for damn eye. certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their. It'd be nice, certainly, <laughs> but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. I'm gonna try to do the Gwent thing first. Hard save. Uh, oh, there they are. Look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. <laughs> Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. Nor need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a midget? I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. <laughs> Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. <laughs> Let's hope I shan't lose. Um... Oh fuck, I also don't know what they're gonna play, what their deck is. Mm. Man, I may have to just take the cancelability. Feels like the safest option, honestly. See, I gotta put all three of those in there then if I do them. Man. They're musters though. I'll add two of them. We'll risk it for in the biscuit. Do I have one of you on? No. Get out of the deck. Young emissary. Do I not have any? Hang on. Uh. Oh, 
Okay, get in the deck. What the hell was that? I want to know what his leader would have been. Destroy. Ooh, yeah, not good. Uh, you get out. Get out there, bud. Well, you little bitch. <laughs> um, okay. That's fine. Okay, well that was rude and unnecessary, I think. Get out there, Regis. I probably should have redrawn that Biting Frost. Well, especially if he's gonna do that. Get out there. Okay, fine. Fine by me. Pass, pass, pass. My little puppy is parked in front of the heater. Soaking it in. Okay. Please, put down some close combat cards. Please, oh please, oh please. Such a bitch. again. I mean, we're definitely trying for the absolute first time. Definitely. We 
We got lucky. We got our torrential rain. Damn, he's got just as many freaking spy cards as I do, I guess. Okay, got another rain. that means he's out. Oh, I forget, yeah. Draws. Okay, that's fine. Um, draw more cards. Okay. Toss a clear weather out there, bud. Just do it. It'll be fun. Son. Oh, but I still win it. Yay. Oh, glorious victory. Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed! Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Quite though. Mark this Gwent. Onward to the next diversion. Damned copies. But to his credit, is a beautiful nasty sight. Oh, yes. Quite a feather in his cap. Just came home. Okay. 
I'm just glad to not lose a ton of money, cause like, 72 grand. Oh. Falling over himself. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, maybe. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain. Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, pigs. Go. Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. See, I don't... I'm never sure, like, if there's a... I'm a reason to it. Or if they just go... I think they just go eventually, to be honest. You see that, Shani? One big pen. Peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? <laughs> Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However, it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. Oh, I intend to. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. It is a cute pig. Mm, tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course, but still. Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. 
A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names. Stand down, swine herds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. A plowing fence board when you need it. Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your job. You plowing, gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shame? I had enough peasant spawn. Got yourself a match for a Von Everett. A witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <laughs> Your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. What the hell? Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster <laughs> until we expire. <laughs> Down with it.
And now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. Dance me. It's a gift. My legs are preternaturally skilled. I never expected the members of Algeard's band to have a taste for dancing. Yet it's so. We dance and dance at every opportunity, as fond of fun as fighting, our motto. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? Um, not sure I do. <sighs> what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani. May I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Uh, could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me. Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churls. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Not till I Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah, I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. I may, Shani. I'd show you how I cut a jig. Nimble as a leopard. 
Don't let me stop you. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Okay. It's like the way you move. What charm, what grace. Thanks. But that's bold attack. Your health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never cool. May they sail many a bear and reap gobs of coin. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. <laughs> What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water, but man's got to dive in and fish it out. to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. This is gonna ruin the leather on that shoe. Plunk. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Okay, come on, turn around. Uh-oh, okay, I thought the game was about to crash, oh god. Hello? Where the hell are all the shoes? There's really not one over there. There's one there. Okay, I'll come up. Come on, there's gotta be one over here. Doesn't there? I guess not. There's three all that there is. Lucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. 
My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. Uh. That is, on. Uh. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else from which to survey past elders. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. <laughs> Have you squealing like a kitty cat? That's how I feel. My back hurts. He arrived, that's certain. I saw him nice myself. Bitch. So if he arrived, why is he not here now? Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. A blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Judging by its house, demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. A bone not so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an ento, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Its bowl is chipped, tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt, the hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed it seems, or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this no tree. No discoveries of note as yet, but you I shan't hear give me, up. Shani, go away. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. Wait, what? A spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, Jap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. <laughs> missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. 
Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a noun. And, but it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Your cap, sir, lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck, it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding, where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. God! Bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hi, you blind fool. Save me! Ah! Shit. Okay, let's go, buddy. Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. <laughs> it was my doing, Pig if ate I may my say hand. so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some. Nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! 
I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> Never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. Uh, how do I get up in there? I don't remember. Oh no, is it this lady? Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. I believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. Oh, she's drunk and randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. There Look there, Shani. The ladder begs us to scamper to its top where we can converse. Uh, then let us scamper. But how so? Just like that? There aren't. Th Sit. You must have a splendid time. Let's, let's sit. Come now. Just like that. I'm all ears. What would you have us talk about? I I'm sorry, converse about. Well, when it comes right down to it. Yes? You see, the thing is. Come now, spit it out. Mm, I. <sighs> yes, just as I thought. Come, it's time we return. What's just as you thought? I find you intimidating. <laughs> Loudly lowing cows only ever give a little milk. I've only ever dealt with simple maids, whereas you're a surgeon. I believe I was right not to just take you and... Well, I was right to take the more romantic approach. <laughs> oh, all right. Now come, we were to enjoy ourselves. Let's do just that, romantically. Hmm. Well, I didn't get the achievement to pop. And I really don't want to restart it. But gingerbread's an output flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient of gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? 
What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. I came here to revel, enjoy myself, not to discuss my brother. That's good. Olgier probably wouldn't want me to talk to you about him. Olgierd was my brother and my friend. Never have there been more loyal comrades than us. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgierd told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Ogird was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cabin. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. You're a bridesmaid, Shami. Take your place. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bed with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we don't sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Bright's one love eternal, bright and best beware, or she'll make you a core gold in the coming year. What's the groom a thinking a storm upon his brow? Must be second guessing if you get that cow. You'll get the cow, lad the bull, the calf, the hay. So drink and be merry, teach your wedding day. Oh. Whoever caught the garland shall be next to wed.
really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. Their hair swirling freely. Their bodices undone. They're bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more, or two more, or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. You stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens, I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. 
Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Oh, there's the achievement. Yay. I am going to just stop it here because the shiny romance is not all that important and I can't show the boat scene anyway.